Hey guys, it's Dale here for DJ Tech and Hardware, and it's been a long time since I made a video. You better sit tight, because we've got a lot to talk about. Alright guys, as you can see, I've got a box of parts here that we need to talk about. But first, I'd like to talk to you about the start, or the first image that I ever had of this project. Um, Shuttle actually made a X79 motherboard for one of their PCs, which was very small. It wasn't ITX, it was called DTX, uh, basically an oversized ITX, um, which I was really interested in getting into this end case. Um, and that was sort of the, the whole idea when this project started. Unfortunately, when I started to look into it, um, I couldn't get my hands on the motherboard uh, that was used there. So I ended up giving up on that idea and went with the Z97 uh, platform instead. Now, as you know, shortly after my last video, ASRock teased or announced that they had developed an X99 ITX motherboard. And basically on that day, this project stopped um, to wait for that product to come out. So it, it did take a long time and it took a little bit longer here in Australia um, for those parts to become available. But the day that they were available, I jumped and got that motherboard um, and supporting hardware. And this is basically what you're looking at, which is the new build. So I'll just run through the parts very quickly like I did in the first episode. Um, and I'll do a separate video on the, the ASRock board. There's just a couple of things I want to address there. Just my opinions on it. It's not going to be a review. Just sort of a bit of a discussion on it. So, the NK M1 hasn't changed. I've actually built into it now. I've got a time lapse of that, which I'm happy to share with you. Uh, the GDX 980, if you remember in part one, I said there might be some height issues. Uh, there definitely is. Um, I'm really struggling with this card and I don't think it's got the power that I need to run a 1440p ultra wide, which is ultimately what I want to do. Um, so, this 980 is most likely going. Um, the H100 is being used again, like I said, I got it. It was only ever a in-between solution. Um, a lot of people were unsure if they could use that on this motherboard, and you can, and I've popped up a video about that. But that will go, um, and I will most likely, I'm 99% certain, that we're going to go with a Calvin S24. The power supply is the same, hasn't changed there. So then, obviously, everything else is different. We'll speak about this one in a minute. So we've got the ASRock X99E-ITX-AC. God, that's a name. Um, so that is kind of now the flagship or focus point of this build rather than the NKSM1. The colouring is not good um, to suit this build, so we're going to have to get rid of this blue. We'll talk about it. It's not perfect, obviously, though. Uh, they've done the best that they can with the space, and it's really amazing what they've done. Um, but I'll, I'll speak with that briefly later. Um, obviously I had to switch to DDR4 being X99, so I got some Crucial Ballistic Sport, 2x8 gigabytes, 2400. Um, I would like to go 2x16 later on down the track, which 16 gig dims are very expensive at the moment. I managed to get these for a couple of hundred bucks, which is a bargain for DDR4. The CPU, uh, 5820K, I would have loved a 5960X, um, but to go to a 5930K was kind of pointless because I only got one PCI slot um, plus the M.2. Um, it's no extra cores, so 5820. Perfect. Finally, I'll talk about this. I had a crucial M550 M.2 disc, um, but it still uses the SATA 3 controller. Um, I was really lucky. The guys from Ram City uh, decided to give me a um, Samsung SM951, the AHCI version, not the NVMe. Um, but they decided to sponsor me with that with a 256 gig disc. And this thing I will show you later is insane uh, how fast it is. So I thought that it was worth an update. So I will show you the time lapse now. Um, and then I will update later on with a video of results comparing the two, the Z97 versus the X99, but uh, very exciting, especially in the end case, uh, to have this set up now and 
This thing is just an absolute monster into a case that is essentially a shoebox on its side.
So that's basically why there was such a delay in any updates. Um, but yeah, uh, sit back and relax. You know, um, we should be seeing a lot of updates now. Um, a lot of measurements going to have to go on. Custom cables, custom cooling uh, will be on their way. Um, so we should be able to really start to wrap this up now that we know um, I have all the parts and, and it's what I always wanted this project to be. So I'm really excited. So stay tuned. Do a quick video on the motherboard now and uh, there'll be more progress on this build to come. Thanks, guys.